What's going on everybody? We're gonna roll in that little fire so y'all have something to sit around and stay warm, even though it's hot in the summer. But we're gonna start that intro and then we'll come back and talk about what we're doing. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Um, we're on a little trip, a little adventure, road trip, shall we say. Um, <laughs> kind of planned this at last minute so forgive me <laughs> but um, what we're doing is I've never done this lived in Tennessee all my life I'm 51 years old and I've never been on this road ever been under it been under it a time or two we're going down right now. I'm about 20 minutes out. I'm running about an hour late, so I'm on time. Uh, we're going to hit the Natchez Trace Parkway, and we're going to take it all the way down to Collinwood, Tennessee today. Um, I'm going to stop at points of interest down through there. I am mapping this on Gaia. Um, so what I'll probably do is put the Gaia uh, map section of this on my website and may try to figure out how I can attach it to the video itself so anyways um, put your seatbelt on actually you don't have to you can sit back in your chair and watch but um, we are headed to um, Natchez Trace Parkway I hear it's beautiful so I want to see I've never been down it um, the bridge there's a big bridge over it and I'll try to get some photos of it put in here somewhere when we get to that point and um, I have been below it under the bridge and seen the bridge and you know saw the bridge being built the whole nine yards back many years ago and the bridge is probably the the one of the crown jewels of the trace I mean there's a lot more at some point in time down the road maybe next spring I want to do the full trace uh, that is from Nashville to Tupelo Mississippi so look out for that because that it's gonna happen sometime probably do it in the spring I don't want to do it dead of summer like right now um, so anyway we will come back once we get to the trace right now I'm gonna eat breakfast I've already taken my two pills and it's time to eat and um, We'll talk about some other things when I come back in a little while. All right, guys, we're fixing to hit the trace, as we call it here in Tennessee. Uh, I've got to reprogram my GPS for something. I've kind of ditched Gaia right now because it's not doing what I want it to do. It sucks. But the trail, the trip will be on Gaia because I had it mapped out on there. I'm going to turn you around, but that bridge right up there is the Natchez Trace. So that's the start of it on the Nashville end going towards natchez mississippi or tupelo mississippi wherever it ends um so anyways we're fixing to get on it and we're going to stop at the different points of interest and i will spell them out what they're about and everything hikes that kind of thing that you can do we may find a couple of things that we can take a look at um overlooks that kind of stuff and we'll stop video pictures whole nine yards we're going to do it today guys so I feel good. I feel really good. It's going to be an awesome day. All right, let's get on the road.
Okay guys, come back to you. I'm gonna give you a little pro tip real quick on the Natchez Trace. Watch out for bicyclers. They love to use this road to bicycle on. I understand it's beautiful, but it's dangerous. Um, cars and bicycles on this road have had their ugly past. And it's bad, I mean, it's, it's sad, but I think really and truly, if they wanna do both, um, I think they ought to make a separate section on the side of the road for the bicyclers so they're safe. But I've passed probably 15 or so bikes in the last quarter mile. Um, which, I, I mean, you know, I have no problems with people bicycling. It's good exercise and all that. Pro tip number two for Natchez Trace Parkway is 40 miles an hour. 40. That's it. Um, I don't know how strict uh, speed is, but if you come up on these bicyclists and you're doing 50, 60 miles an hour on this thing, you're probably going to have a little problem. You're probably going to run over a couple of bicyclists. Um, so 40 miles an hour is the max speed on here. I'm doing, you know, I, the good thing about it is I'm not having to look at my speedometer because the GPS has it on it. Now, pro tip number three. So say you're traveling on, for instance, the, the um, Trace. Pick a town, like for instance, I've picked Collinwood, which is where my destination is going to end today. Um, found a school there and I chose its address as my ending point which I'm in a part change once I get there anyway. But that's how I'm using the Garmin to get me there is by doing that. Now there's, like I said, there's gonna be several cutoffs from this that we're going to stop at. Um, I stopped at a little rest area back there. The other thing I will, oh, 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 oh. We're gonna stop right there with that. Um, actually fixing to get out. And show you something. We'll be back with the big camera. All right. So this is one of the bridges here on the Natchez Trace. We're walking up to now. Can't park on the bridge, but we can park before it and walk, which is where I'm at. See the Titan sitting there. People riding in the convertibles. We're gonna walk down here and take a look. I'm scared of heights, so probably not gonna dangle off this thing or anything. This was the other mistake I made when uh, I uh, went on the Jeep rides. I didn't get out enough and walk. <laughs> so, okay guys, I'm gonna show you a quick view of this. Um, Remember, I'm scared of heights. And this is really testing me as far as my height thing right now. Let me tell you. All right, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, we're gonna get off this really tall bridge and get back to the really high ground, low ground. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, something that I've gotten back to the truck now and seen, that's not a good sign. So it looks like the drone may be just along for the ride. But anyway, we're fixing to drive over the bridge now. So I'm gonna get the GoPro going. And um, as we do that, head over the bridge now that we've walked down and seen what it looks like from up there by the way if you're scared of heights <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> that's high <laughs> um yes i'm scared of heights and uh that that's that's up there guys that is up there good lord anyways um Like I said, you gotta watch out for the bicyclists and uh, other people. I mean, just it's it's 40 miles an hour. Just take your time and enjoy it. I mean, look at that. Look, look, look. Look at that. 
That is crazy. I remember when they built this bridge, um, seeing it come up off the ground and everything, and it, they had a couple of deaths building the bridge. And it's look, look how high it is. And they've had some other problems out here with people using that as their way out of life, which is sad. Um, please talk to somebody. If you're in that kind of situation, please talk to somebody. Please. It's, it's ending. It's not the way. Sorry. It's not. Um, anyways. All right. We'll get beyond that. So anyways, guys, now we're back on the trace shortly. <laughs> we may have another, let's see. Nope. Not going there. So we're just going to keep on trucking. Um, but anyway, I, like I said, I really, really, really stress your speed on here um, because of the bicyclists and stuff. And there's people, for instance, I mean, I parked the truck, got out, walked down to the bridge to video that. And, you know, you got people walking up and down the bridge to see the bridge and look out over the bridge. So, yeah. All right, back in a second. All right, guys. So this is one of the scenic overlooks you get to come to. Uh, it's a Water Valley scenic overlook. It's worth the stop. Trust me. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look behind me the the uh, brush and everything. All right, for the Water Valley overlook, scenic overlook. Um, it is worth the stop. Trust me. Look at that. Gorgeous. Little pond or lake down there. Gorgeous area, guys. Gorgeous area. See, if you're speeding on the trace, you miss this kind of stuff. This is awesome. Pretty. All right, let's get back to the truck. Continue on. All right, so I'm just got back in the truck from the Water Valley Overlook. That was really cool, real pretty. <clears throat> like I said, this on this in the fall would be a gorgeous trip too. So may plan to do this again in the fall. I mean, all the trees and everything that would be awesome. Reloading my water bottle. According to the GPS, I've got 58 more miles till I get to Conley, Tennessee, which is where I'm going to be stopping my little adventure today. And I think I've got a few more stops between here and there. Right now it's saying I'll get there about 11.58, which would be about right time for some lunch. So we'll find us a nice little local diner to grab us some lunch and then head back north but we're not through here yet so that was really gorgeous I'm glad I stopped I'm glad to take a look at that <clears throat> like I said I went on my Gaia thing that I will upload to the website to midtenoutdoors.org I've got all these uh, picnic areas and overlooks and stuff highlighted on it so if you go with the Gaia one, it will take you to these stops. Um, it's warming up. It's 82 degrees. Yeah, the truck says 82. Watch says 82, so I'm going to go with it. Anyways, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's get back on the trace. Okay, one of the other stops on the Natchez Trace that we've stopped at um, walking up to it now is the memorial for the war of 1812 have a mon it's a little monument here but they have one um, so we're walking up to it now I say it's a little it's not very big I think I'm taller but uh, there it is.
So basically this monument memorizes War of 1812 soldiers buried along the old Natchez Trace and it honors the service of all brave volunteers who marched on the Natchez Trace during the War of 1812 to help establish America independence. There you go. This was on the, uh, put up in the bicentennial June 16th of 2012. So there you go. And if you don't know about the the money on the monument, we saw that in um, Virginia, and I've seen it other military style cemeteries. Um, pretty neat little token. If you don't know about it, look it up. And basically, you're buying them a drink when you meet again I think is what it means I may be wrong if I am I'll look it up and I'll note it in a little bit but anyways pretty neat little stop cute little monument um, so the speed limit draw, jumped up on me a little bit to 50 miles an hour but I'm still cruising at 45 and stuff because I'm looking as I'm driving and it's gorgeous. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know where this helicopter is going, but I didn't do it. So, there it is. Don't get a glimpse of it. Anyway, we're going to get back on the trace warming up a little bit I feel that uh, moisture building in the air let's take a look here at the trace from where we are all right there it is there's the trace and we're going that way Okay, here's another little area you can come and hike. This is the Devil's Backbone State Natural Area. Um, there's the map of it and everything. Pretty neat little hike. I've never done it. Not doing it today either. <laughs> Just checking all the stuff out. But anyway, um, this is a... Is this a state? National Park Service. So no, this is a national park. Managed by Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation Diver Division of Natural Areas and National Park Service. So this is a kind of a conglomeration between state park and national parks. So we're going to turn around. So I'm not hiking it today, but right there is the trailhead. Maybe someday we can come back and take it. Go for a little stroll on the Devil's Backbone. All right. Onward. Okay, so this is Meriwether Lewis of the Lewis and Clark fame. Cabin he died in. Um, it depends on who you talk to how he died whether they committed suicide or somebody did it to him but this is the cabin that it took place okay as the plaque says this is grinder house site and ruins of the grinder house in which mayweather lewis met his death on the night of october 11th 1809 so that's it right there so right there is where Mayweather Lewis is buried of Lewis and Clark fame. Right there. Did know it was in Tennessee. Wow. So anyways guys, we're going to get back on the trace. Got a lot more to see. Alright guys, so getting close to Collinwood, Tennessee. Um, oh wow. Pretty farmland. 
the the trace is gorgeous i can't wait to do the whole thing one day i can't wait to come back here in the fall it'd be just knocked down gorgeous through here it'd be like kind of going to the smokies i guess <clears throat> um, just awesome. all right so found my place to eat um it's coming i came into town and pulled up a thing and i found the I think it's called the Crossroads or Chad's Family Restaurant or something of that nature. Awesome. Oh my God, it was good. The thing that draws my attention though is it says fish. Catfish, fried catfish. Oh my God, that's all we got to say. I'm hoping now I don't have to pull over and take a nap because, it, God, it was good. But um, I love little places like this. You know, it's people that travel the roads that keep these places alive, you know. That's just the way it goes. This little town, I mean, you're looking at it. You're looking at the little town. So, we're going to get back on the road. We'll end this a little bit later. I've got some other towns to drive through. Um, I think we got to go back up the chase a little bit. I've already got it mapped out. It's saying, oh, I'll be home at 331. So, that's not bad. Um, not bad at all. It's been a nice drive. Um, but uh, won't be any more stopping this time. We'll just pull in, pulling her ears back and let her fly. But anyways, if you're in Collinwood, it's, Ch I think it's Chad's Family Restaurant is what it's called now. It used to be called something else, but they got barbecue, chicken, fish, and steak on the side of the building. I mean, guy could die here. And the catfish was good. <clears throat> uh, coleslaw was good too. Ooh, Lord, Lord. All right, guys, let me get back on the road. I'll bring you back if anything happens. Definitely bring you back to close out the video. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna close out the video. Um, it was amazing drive down. Uh, we're on interstate now coming back we came uh, came back up the trace a little bit on the left into Murray County and now up through Williamson County and Davis County back over into Wilson County a lot of counties isn't it but um, it was a great drive want to do it back and come back in the fall and do it again um, I think I figured I was only 20 miles from the end of the trace in Tennessee. So there, from there forward, it would be, I think, goes into Alabama, Mississippi. And that's where it ends. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the video. It was great. It was good to get out. Um, like I said, it's up to 91 now. Humidity is not bad yet. It's coming. They're saying it's supposed to start raining tomorrow and it's supposed to, the humidity is supposed to really jump up. Summer's about here, guys. Summer is about here as far as Tennessee weather. I think we've had all the cool snaps and comfortable weather we're going to have for a long time. Until at least September, October. So, anyways, we're going to do some more of this stuff this summer. Um, I figure it's, I'm not going to camp. I'm just not going to camp in hot and humidity. I'm just not going to do it. I did it as a kid. not going to do it as an adult. Sorry. Not happening. Now, if I go somewhere up north where the humidity and stuff is not bad, that's one thing, but not here. Nope. Not going to do it. But I want to appreciate everybody that has followed us, that subscribes to us on all of our social media accounts. Check my link tree. There's a support me page there, or link there. You can support Mid-10 Outdoors if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not begging you to. Sure make us get out there and do a lot more, though. Um, check out my medic, my, my only sponsor I've got for now. Hopefully, we're going to get some more on board, and that will get us back out there more, doing a lot more. And all the other stuff. I appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. Share, like, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. There's 
so many of you that are not subscribed, please subscribe. I beg you. Get us up to 2,000. Get us up to 10,000. Be prepared.